Hi there friends, this is Grace and I'm sharing with you a layout that I had made um, with um, the challenge at Nicole Jones 911 Facebook group wherein you have to use a collection that you love, use all of the items that you have of that and then scrapbook a layout of something that you love and so I'm using the hello my name is Teresa Collins collection um, I really like this paper pad I have the paper pad um, journaling blocks and die cut shapes and also a few stickers that came with um, the paper pack and then I am going to be scrapbooking um, one of my favorite things to do in the summer which is to garden um, now, when I was in California, um, we had a longer gardening season, and so I was able to get a lot out of my fruit, my vegetables, but um, with moving to Colorado, it was really hard because it's a shorter um, growing season, and so I have to buy some of my um, plants or some of the vegetables that I want to grow as plants. Um, like tomatoes and then um, I don't really get to um, enjoy them for a long period of time because our frost starts around October here so anyways um, I really love the Polaroid paper um, and so I cut that up I cut four of those and then I'm going to be using them um, as a mat for my four um, smaller photos and these are sized um, two by two and a half to fit perfectly inside the Polaroid and I, I like that these Polaroids have things on the bottom like the like um, the heart and arrows and then this is me because it fits perfectly that um, I really that this is something that I really like um, now this collection I've used with making other layouts and so you will see me kind of use different uh, I mean smaller scraps of paper from this collection um, but I really like that I'm able to use them up that love paper is a 4 by 6 that's cut out from a 12 by 12 paper and then I'm going to be cutting the inside of this um, 12 by 12 black and white dot paper because I like the back side of it and um, also this page is based off of a sketch and I will link it to the description um, down below and also on my blog now I'm just laying out all of my pictures to see if um, where they're all gonna go before I commit to adhering them now this is a trim that I got at Goodwill it's a gold trim with scallops on both top and bottom and um, I just thought it would be really nice to add some shine to the layout and then I cut a four by I mean a, a two by three I think it's a two by three um, journaling block in half so that it will extend from top to bottom behind the I mean on the top and the bottom of the pictures and then also that daily life and then I'm going to be using this paper with some square um, designs and I'm going to punch out some heart shapes out of it and then use the negative space um, in my layout I just thought that the heart lends really well because there this is a, a love themed layout but at the same time um, some of my accents already have hearts in there so it just worked really well and um, I'm going to be cutting the six hearts in half so I can um, put the three hearts, I mean the two blocks in in two different places. So here I am just looking for a good background paper to go with that and I decided to cut the 4 by 6 um, piece so that I can use the back side of it on, on this heart accent. So I found that if I layer that heart accent just right with my red white polka dot paper that there will be a dot, a white dot in the center of my hearts. And so that's what I'm trying to do here. It's just making sure that it's centered. Now on the other piece it won't be quite centered because my hearts w weren't punched um, perfectly in the center of the square but that's okay. I'm not gonna um, be worried too much about that but I just thought it would be a nice way to layer up the papers 
show off more of the, the, the different kinds of designs of the papers in this collection and at the same time add some accents on my page. So I'm just moving things around, seeing if I like them, and then I'm going to ink some ink the edges with some chestnut ink from American Crafts. And I just want to let you guys know that this um, video is done through my um, my can my phone now, and so I'm hoping that it will be much better because then it's seamless that you will see from start to finish, and um, there's not much stopping. On this layout um, I did have to cut it out just a bit because I was working I'm um, trying to fix my ATG gun which I had to reload and then um, just trying to work that out so I had to cut that part out but um, other than that this is from true from start to finish of how I did this um, this layout and so um, the three other videos that I'm going to be posting this month after this layout will still be from my camera because um, I made them before I finally figured out how to do it with my how to set up my my phone with my tripod um, but after that it will be all my process videos will be done um, with my with my phone so here I am fixing trying to change out my um, ATG gun refill and I'm new to ATG guns so I'm still there's still kind of a learning curve that I'm trying to remember and how to you know put it on it's a good thing I saved I saved the refill um, instructions and so I can always look back on that and if you liked any of my videos um, if you like this video I mean please um, hit subscribe um, the but the subscribe button or the thumbs up and so that you will get to see more of the videos that I make and um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and also um, if you have some time please visit my blog for more crafty in, um, inspirations so here I am I'm just adhering all of the um, other elements and just trying to layer them on top of each other. And so for this year, for this pick, um, this year's harvest, this was I believe 2012. I was able to harvest um, lots of tomatoes. I had different kinds of tomatoes. I had I think grape tomatoes, and then Roma, and um, I don't think I did the beef steak, the big chunky I mean big humongous tomatoes but I can't remember but there was three tomatoes that I had grown and then um, carrots and green beans and I bought a plant a, a green pepper plant at Home Depot and I was it was kind of funny because I tended to that little plant all summer long and I was able to get one small green pepper which was kind of sad because everything else was growing. Um, you know, there was just a lot of um, veggies to be harvested, especially with the tomatoes. And then I go to my little green pepper plant and it was just one itty bitty plant. I mean, itty bitty pepper, but um, I'm not complaining because it's still, it was still fun to be able to pull that out. Uh, oh, and we also planted um, a few chilies um, then too. Um, so here I am just kind of using some of the little die cut shapes and trying to find spaces for them in my layout. And then I'm going to be handwriting my journal. I'm using Sharpies lately because I like the Sharpies that have two tips, one that's the regular ballpoint, I think, and then one that's a fine point, finer tip. And so I've been using the finer tips to handwrite my journaling. And um, I decided to cover up the typewriter um, design with just a circle that says, love this. The only thing that I have a problem with this collection, if I do have a problem, it's, it's really not a big problem, but um, there's just too much text in, in this collection and so my problem is to find the right balance between adding all of those really cool quotes and um, 
sayings of this um, collection, but at the same time not overpower my layout with just too many text. Um, I'm going to add a bow, um, a gold bow, and then this little tag that came with the kit that had a little um, house accent with a heart in it. I thought it was really appropriate with this layout. And then I'm just tying that around the bow with some American Crafts brown twine. So I'm adding, I'm just adding little bits of layers here just to see what else. And then I'm finally going to be adding my title. Um, I I was I, I decided to put my title at the very end because I wasn't sure if I just wanted to keep that big um, love as my title, but um, it just it wasn't specific enough for this type for this page, and so I wrote or I put in stickers that spelled Garden Harvest there. And then here I am just trying to find a few more stickers to add to this layout. Um, like I said, there was just too much text, and um, I like them all, but it was just, I don't know how to incorporate them in the layout without making it just too many words in there. And then I'm going to be adding some, I wanted to add some mist splatters on my layout. And so I'm using this Glimmer Mist Candy Apple one. It has a red tone in there, but um, I don't know if it's a bottle or it's a combination of bottle and human error, but I can't quite get the mist to, to splatter right on my layout. And so I'm going to be trying a few different ways of trying to splatter them. Um, I decided to see if the if I can do the tips of my um, my brushes, but then it just doesn't work out that way either. And and so um, I'm just gonna try to tap the end of the bottle cap with um, a stick, or I think this is a, a, a paintbrush. And it's not the most perfect way of adding splatters, but um, I'm like at the end of my layout and so this is like I just had to finish it and this is it. So thank you for watching. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to add um, a few more rhinestones just to add more dimension um, to my page. I'm going to add it to the hearts. So thank you for watching and um, like I said, if you enjoyed this layout, please um, Give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my um, channel and um, I will see you when I see you. Bye guys.